We face many challenges uh, in the world today, right? We hear a lot about uh, climate change. Uh, we're experiencing it here in Nova Scotia with fires and floods. And we're also seeing, we hear a lot about the housing crisis, uh, Dalhousie, uh, inequality, loss of biodiversity. I mean, the challenges get mounting and can be overwhelming at times. But when you think about that as a, as a young person, are you hopeful for the future? Sometimes you think you're just one person in the grand scheme of things and sometimes it feels like it's a lot to take on your shoulders and a lot to handle when you think of how large some of these sustainable issues are. But I think what's beautiful um, nowadays is, is, like I've mentioned earlier, the, the amount of people that want to affect change. So though you may feel like one person, it's more like in the thousands maybe when you're thinking and, and even millions when you're thinking about one particular issue. And um, I think that you know, when people come together to work on these things, that's, that's when we have the ability to really um, try to solve some of these big um, issues that are pressing our current world. I believe a lot in community and like the elderly and the youth working together. And I think it's something that we are missing in our society. Some people lost parts of their house, lost their roofs. Uh, some people couldn't live in their houses anymore because of flooding or wind damage. Coming together as a community, uh, goes a long way and you don't know what someone else is going through unless you've gone through it yourself. There's just way too many challenges in the world currently so I feel like in the future, the future is at risk. At times I, I'm not really that hopeful. I, uh, every day it gets a little bit tougher for some reason or the other and it's always beyond my control, that's what it seems like, so no, not really. How do I give those students that capacity and capability so that they can embrace challenges like climate change, like food crisis, like these housing crises, and to really make a positive influence on their communities? So being spurred on by the students is what really enabled me to start this project. We're a world of engineers and we've tackled things before. Obviously I come from that background so I'll, I'll see it through that lens. But I've seen issues fail to be fixed and I don't know if this can be fixed. That's the biggest way to make an impact is most people are likely to follow you seeing you do something you naturally want to do versus doing something you're being told to do. Having kind of a support network for when things do go wrong um, definitely builds a sense of community and I think that it actually inspires people within that community to want to come together and help in the future as well. Yeah, I feel like when people are kind of left to fend for themselves, they don't really feel as much of a sense to bring back to the community and help more, if that makes sense. <laughs>
and uh, we need to be able to uh, dance with it and get into the rhythm of it.